Okay, for staying with us, it's still journalist and out. The administration of President Bola Tinubu is battling its first integrity test over grafts. But the president is showing signs of decisiveness in dealing with the 585 million naira fraud allegation. At the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Liberation, President Tinubu has suspended the minister, Peter Edu, from office with immediate effects. The president further directed the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to conduct a thorough investigation into financial infractions at the ministry and other agencies. But before we go into the discussion, let's have the take of the Vice Chancellor of Usman Danford University, Sokoto Lawa Suleiman Billy Bilbis, on the issue of corruption in Nigeria. In Nigeria, you can really see somebody whose salary is not more than 300 naira a month. You find him having many houses, many cars, and everything. Nobody can believe what recently happened. A former accountant general of the Federation in Nigeria, who is accused and before the court of law for stealing over 109 billion naira, was last three weeks turbaned by the Emir of Kano in Kano great celebrations and the people were there were celebrating what it actually was not in our character. This is something entirely new to us. You can't believe this. People claim that Nigeria has no money. Nigeria has money, but Nigeria has mismanagement. The leaders are not sensi sensitive. National Assembly is not sensitive at all, and not, not only that. If care is not taken, future elections will be very, very difficult to be conducted in Nigeria. You queue up, you vote. At the end of the day, the final decision will be taken by a number of few people at the tribunal. You move for appeal, then you move even to the Supreme Court. And for every stage you go, it is expenditure. I assure you, expenditure of the lawyers and the others. And not only that. Every part of Nigeria today is soiled. The ordinary voters are affected. People who are conducting elections are affected. INEC people are affected. You can't believe this. And even our manams are affected. As long as we don't use our laws, we don't take care, we don't punish those who are offenders, then only God knows where Nigeria is moving to. We blame the bandits every day. Why do we blame them? They risk their lives. They want all these people in government houses well protected, but looting treasure every day. And when we see them, we almost worship them, we praise them, we sing about them, we dance for them, we create drama for them. This was not the culture of Sokoto Caliphate. This was not the culture of Sokoto Caliphate. Somebody came here and they met Muhammad Bell and Judy in his own time. He couldn't believe that was the caliph. He said, I'm looking for the caliph. He said, this is the caliph. He said, no, you can't be the caliph. He said, I'm the caliph. What we were told is during the government work, they use the government light. Then during their private work, they use their private things. How do we expect the Nigeria to move forward? And we don't blame ourselves, including myself, university lecturer, doesn't attend the lectures. It's always busy following politicians, becoming the scribe of politicians, waiting for, no, hand out. Something is really wrong. We have to think. I can't believe this. How can somebody justify to me and tell me that 500 cows being moved, nobody will trace their steps, no dust, and they disappear? And you tell me, former director, NSO, a northerner, former director, NSA, a northerner, former NSA, a northerner, director of military intelligence, former, a northerner. Yeah, something is wrong. You know, the Vice Chancellor of Usman Danford University, that is Lawa Suleiman Bilbis. Can you please just summarize what um, Professor Bilbis was saying? We, we harped extensively on corruption, electoral corruption. He's saying that even our malams, that means our Muslim clerics too, and Christian clerics, they are affected by corruption. And um, he said, as long as we fail to punish offenders, 
we will not solve the problem of corruption. We will not solve the problem of uh, banditry. And um, one thing he said there that really um, struck a chord was his comment on the disappearance of 500 cows. Hmm. He said, Where? how can 500 cows disappear, yeah, disappear. at a, a particular location? He said even the dust that they will raise should be able to draw people's attention and then they will just disappear like that without any trace. trace yeah. That shows that he believed that even the um, security agencies are culpable in the prevalence of banditry, especially in northern Nigeria. So we were talking about the north and said, look, this kind of culture is not synonymous with, uh, with the uh, Isokoto Caliphate. We talked about the former Attorney General of the Federation, who was accused of stealing 109 billion. Mm. Accountant General. Accountant General. Accountant General. Sorry. Accountant General of the Federation. Mm. You know, who was accused of stealing 109 billion naira mm. and was turbaned recently by the army of Kano people who are present and all that. So he said, We worship criminals. Mm. We praise criminals. We worship them. We venerate them. Mm. So that's why people will want to be like those thieves. Mm. Because they can see that you are not thieves. Mm. MJ. We, 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 corruption doesn't know religion, culture, ethnicity, or age. Mm. If somebody can steal one or two billion, man, you've stolen our future. Yeah, she, the former Akata General, um, stole one or one or seven billion. Mm. He returned. His tenure was extended mm -hmm. by the president. By the by Buhari. Boo boo. After eating 60 years, I mean, is he, is he? <laughs> I don't know the grounds upon which he has. He extended the accountant general. Is he so indispensable? <laughs> so if he, if he has shown us, they have shown us yeah. how indispensable he <laughs> is. So, to the extent that he returned, I think, is it 44? 40, he returned 44 billion. And after that, so it was turbaned. They've not been banned. talking about the matter. Eh? No, no, no. It was, was, was turbaned mm. in Kano. That this the, uh, professor, no, professor, 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 <laughs> professor, <laughs> professor, the VC, the VC. I mean, we all that. We all I didn't even hear about that turban. <laughs> so, I do. The other day, we turbaned the bandits. Now. Bandits, yes, yes, yes. Turban bandits. And it was well attended. <laughs> Jide, let's go to our beautiful sister, Betta. Um, she contravened the Financial Regulation Act 2009. And um, the president, uh, to show you that the, uh, this administration will be quite different from what we've had in the last eight years, actually wielded the big stick by suspending... Not, president Tinobu does not have any choice. We have seen signs that... So much money was taken out of the system during the last administration. And the president wants Nigerians to be happy with him. He has to go for officials in that government and recover our money from them. We need the blind. money. Mm. We need the money. Bring back what you have stolen. Mm. Bring back what the administration that was said to be fighting corruption. Bring back what you have stolen, either in foreign currency or in Naira. Just bring back. If the president does not go after them, Nigerians will not take him seriously, honestly. Mm. But I'm happy that he's beginning to do that. Mm. Some uh, companies have been investigated now, mm. uh, Forex, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. CBN. Because MFLA did a lot of damage to our economy. Mm. But the beneficiaries of his misrule, mm who profited from his misrule as the worst CBN governor in Nigerian history, mm. we need to go after those people. Yeah. We can't watch Nigerian suffering while leaving those people to yeah. enjoy their loot. The yes. president has to fix that. Now, coming to better I do, you know, this government has to show it's said to be capable of delivering the highest standard of integrity, transparency, and accountability. 
shut the naysayers up. What you do will shut them up. And the president knows what to do. Now, I'm happy that within this short time, the president has um, moved in quickly, ordered the EFCC to yeah. investigate after suspending her. Job duty is that, I think she's Job? with the EFCC now. Job yes, mm -hmm. I saw a story that mm -hmm. uh, so she's, uh, EFCC would not just uh, investigate her. Wale Edun as the minister of finance in charge of the coordinating, coordinating minister, minister of the economy. for the economy. He is now going to reform that ministry hmm. and look at the frailties, those uh, structures that to are not sure in that place, not that, that are ensuring that people just steal money. In fact, I was told that many civil servants are pleading that they should transfer them to humanitarian hmm. Everybody has that seen this place all. as a place where they can steal, steal until they cannot uh, even move again, <laughs> you know? Fill their bellies with ill gotten uh, money until they can't move again. Mm. So, there are questions that I, I want to ask. Was money paid into an individual's account despite the advice from the accountant general? Mm. I'm sure the FCC will discover that. Did better I do get approval from council on a waiver on this matter? They will find out who advised her, who told her that uh, in the civil service it is permitted because I, I, I read one silly press statement mm. saying that the, uh, the minister had not done anything right, that in the civil service uh, one is permitted to transfer her. And there are laws. Mm. Contravene section 713. Yes, it breaches the, mm. uh, the breaches money, money laundering act. So who was the person advising her? Mm. Maybe they were just doing a rinkarele or a job for her. You know, when people will be pushing you, pushing you to uh, a cliff. Mm -hmm. When they get to the edge of the cliff, they will now push you down. I'll be a job uh, <laughs> uh, You know, that... Uh, <laughs> you, you, it's not everybody smiling at you that loves you. Mm. When you get to a height in life, that's when you need to be more careful. Yep. The civil servants that you see around you, they say, ah, madam, you know, they are just bloody psychophants. They will be ready at mm. any given time to, to nail your coffin. So we are waiting, but we need to find out. Mm. Someone told me that that was not even the first time that money will be moved into that account, mm. that particular account. Mm. Brigette. Yes. Mm. In fact, some people said that, that uh, they found that even this today, they found a huge sum of money was still there. And so who was, who was Bridget to this minister? <laughs> we, say, we say we should yeah. appoint and young Bridget. people. And young people, the Bridget, young the people, the young people, the opportunity. You want, you want to uh, uh -huh. outdo the senior people. Not too young to roll. <laughs> this, 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 this. Look at it now. I mean, how many times are we going to face this Less from the young people? Thirty-six years. Tell <laughs> you da. Maybe the power you do. This is the this is the ministry that you actually edify this president. Yes. To show that to this president has support. empathy. Yes, directly. Because the money, but the direct money, connection. The money meant for the poorest of the poor. Yeah. 10, 10, is 10, 10, what is being moved 20, from account. Yes, yes. Ah, come on. It's, mm, uh, but uh, I'm happy and I'm sad. I'm happy because the president acted swiftly, mm. unlike in the past that they would just allow it to pass and nothing mm. will happen. Mm. That's why I'm happy. You treat it as a family affair. Mm. I'm sad because this is better I do that we were all prospects. Crazy. We were all facing her here ah. when she went to this same Kogi to distribute her for the pilot so, scheme. Yes. We were praising her on this show yeah. that this is transparent, this is good, not knowing that Absolutely. She actually flew from Abuja, from, uh, from Abuja, couldn't quote to Lokodia. Oh, so we, we praise the president for coming up with this idea. Yeah. And for initiating it, not... But, 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 is there a, do we have an airport in uh, Kogi? Because okay. they, seven of our eight, including ourselves... I saw it, I saw about 72 million or so. Yes, collected money. Uh, for, for flight. flight. Collected money for airport tax. Yeah, and airport tax, you far. 
to Kogi State. In from my state where there is no airport. And the nearest airport to Kogi is in uh, Adwekiti, Akure. Which is not functional. Adwekiti is not functional. Uh, no, they didn't finish it. Just the, the flights, yeah. this thing just came. The plane no, just came. Only a military mm -hmm. plane that has landed. Uh, yes, yes. Landed. MJ. Let's mm -hmm. just leave it. Uh, uh, okay, we have, uh, we have, we have a career. <laughs> no, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> no, that's why I'm asking. That's why I'm, that's why I'm okay. asking <laughs> if we have an... See, <laughs> they wrote a memo. Seven of them, the minister, 300,000 naira for flights from... Um, we have actually took SUV and, and they drove to I saw the memo. Lokoja. The airport taxi was there. I they the took 20,000 airport taxi. Maybe uh, Yaya Bello, the White Lion, have uh, an you airstrip. Did a miracle. Maybe you have an airstrip. You know? Or you create um, uh, 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 an airstrip this is, for which, which category this, of aircraft to land. This is unbelievable. And for a better I do that. You see, now, let's even look better at Better had been commissioner before. He was commissioner so in... He knows uh, the process. He knows the process. You policy. can't move money to... To a private account. Private. It is not possible. Government the funds financial are, regulations uh, no. act of yes. 2009. It is not, yes, not possible. Business. Yes, you cannot. And now, you said because of the fraud, the fraud, uh, the conditional cash transfer, because of the way they were giving envelopes mm. to people in the past. Mm. Now, you said you have you have a database. They commissioned a firm mm. to do a database of the NIN, BVN of the most vulnerable Nigerians, and they have the database for each state, which, I mean, and she said they have been transferring money to this account. So why do you need to go through budget oh. to transfer this money? So 500 budget, budget that will send money to people money in to, Lagos. In Lagos. Send money to in people in Akwaibom. Send money to people in Ogun. Cross River. Send money to people in Cross River. And Kogi. One person. Anti-budget. Anti-budget. She's a distributor. And... You should divide. Meanwhile, she was saying in some of those interviews that look, the way people are moving money into private accounts, that she's going to stop it. She does not want, she wants yes. something more transparent because the international community is watching, watching. The World Bank is watching, and you are moving money into. And the accountant general, Madeni, advised you in black and white that you cannot do this. Hmm. They still went and did it. Because I said, well, if you... No, let me see, see, that is the area that I have no clarity. They have, they have, they have moved that money. Good. See, there is, there is money. Money was put in Bridget's account. Mm. We don't know whether it's a different transaction. I, because... I, eh? I like the way you are giving uh, them Wait. the benefit of the No, doubt. no, I don't know whether it's that particular money. I know the people I've spoken to today mm. who are telling me that it may not... Yes, they've checked. Investigators have looked at, at that guest account and they found money. Okay. I think they were even saying that about, they found about 200 million as at this money. Mm. Now, Maybe what we don't person. know, what we don't know, because people are saying there have been other uh, uh, inflows. Yes. Mm -hmm. What we don't know is whether <coughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the same um, uh, 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 It's the same money. The same money that okay. was moved or a different. And, and, and that one. All the FCC needs to establish is when has she ever had to move public funds into that account? account. Is it this particular one? The first one, yeah. You know, and another person has asked me a question where the, this is actually full of riddles. Mm. Mm. He then said, if she didn't move that money, mm. her defense should have been, I didn't move any money. Of course. Mm. I was yeah, told, yes. look, mm. it's against the decision, and I didn't, I didn't move any money. You understand? Mm. So it's confusing. Mm. whether. So if the, she moved it, who permitted her? Mm. Okay. And she couldn't have done it without the CBN. Okay, Julie, let's yeah? pick Emmanuel from Abuja's call. Emmanuel? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Thank uh, you for staying with us. Uh, Mr. Jide and other people over there, you are doing a very great job. A very great job. See, the level of corruption in this country is just too high. There are areas, you know that policemen contributed money for their retirement. And after retirement, what they gave to policemen as monthly pension is 30,000 naira. And Pencom is holding on to 8 to 9 million naira. And they say they are managing it for the retired police officers. 
Thank you, Manuel. Have we ever seen that of corruption? Mm. Thank you, Manuel. We like and to keep it within the mm. um, what better ideas as uh, the subject matter today. <laughs> yeah. So mm. she will she will have said, no, that money that people are talking about, I never moved it. Mm. That would have been the best and simple defense. Mm -hmm. But we are not getting that kind of defense from Actually, that. Of course, she's saying That's that why some people believe the money could be moved. She moved it. Yes. Now, with whose support? After the Attorney General, General said no, did she bypass her to find a way to move the money? I think in the fullness of time, the FCC yes. will discover <clears throat> that because she's not saying that she didn't move that particular amount of money. She was actually trying to justify it. There were, I mean, yes. Civil servants will tell her that we can do this like we can do it like this because of the exigency of her time, and you know we need to do Christmas, mm. and so that we can uh, move it to and the budget. The uh, she have account. access to that account? See, the way the way these things work, the, the a ministry will send a, a I mean, from the way the memo went to. Those are tweets. Integrity and accountability are uh, what word. Mm. Under my watch, in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Innovation, no one will embezzle government funds okay. as before. Go and say that. The plans yeah. to tarnish the image of this administration, my person or the ministry, will not we amount, will to, amount nothing. to nothing. Okay. And, and this was uh, on January 4th. Mm. That was on, uh, I think, Thursday, ago. Thursday or Wednesday. So, um, Better I do need to do more than this. She needs to go and tell the FCC, tell the FCC mm. uh, how, how, she, how she flew to Kogi mm. uh, without, an without an airport. Took that, an airport taxi too. And took an airport taxi. Mm. Whereas she drove from Abuja with escorts mm. to Lokoja. So she needs to tell uh, the FCC that. Maybe they landed got, on uh, Mount Party. The, 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 she collected 300,000. No, Mount Party now. We don't for, for, a, for, a, for, a trip, for a trip from Abuja to um, <coughs> to Lokoja, 300,000 for her and 200,000 each for seven of her eight. Ah, ah. And they claim to have spent five days uh, for that trip. So they took duty the to allowance. The country will be begging, to, duty uh, to allowance be taking loans days. up and down mm. like a beggar. Yet the little that we have, people will be stealing it and frittering it anyhow. We are not behaving in a way to just uh, to show that we are indeed uh, facing tough times. Hmm. People are angered by uh, this kind of reports. Hmm. Because we know as a country we are broke. Hmm. Yet some people have so much to steal. It has to stop. Should it, this is not the end of this particular episode. Yes. We'll be back on it yeah, tomorrow. We'll be back and it's going to be running. We'll be you have more information about it. Moji Jami, I want to wish you Happy New Year and best of 2024. Thank you very much, Gide. You know, sure yourself. Yes. Jonathan Stanga, 2024. We're going to be ten this year. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll try our best to celebrate it. <laughs> All right.